For this investigation, Stella has asked me to get 50 science in action stretchometers. Check. A physical fitness expert. Who are you? A physical fitness expert. Check. And 100 children. Check! Wow, I think I've got myself an investigation. So, Gareth, what are you hoping to find out here? Well, what we're interested in, in investigating is the, the effect of warming up exercises on students' flexibility. And I guess that's where the amazing stretchometer comes in. That's where the stretchometer comes in. Can I have a go? Yeah. Okay, put the box down. Let's uh, sit down. Put your feet flat against the box. Nice straight legs. Right. Hands on your knees to start with, thanks. Now put one hand on top of each other and reach forward as slowly as you can, as, as far as you can, along the scale. Great. Okay. Is that as far as you can go? Yeah. Fine. How do I do? Got a score of four. Is that good? Well, it's not so bad. What we're going to look at, though, is how can we improve that by warming you and these 100 students up. So why do you need so many of us? Well, each student is different. Some are taller, some are short, some are heavier than others. Some can reach further than others. And what we're looking for is to try and get a good average result for the whole group, not an individual result. So, by averaging everything out, you actually remove the other variables and you end up just by measuring the difference that exercise makes. That's right, and we get a better experiment and a better result because of that. Let's get on with it then. Okay. Okay, all sitting with straight legs. Those who are going to be stretching. Right, here we go. Results from the first stretch. 17 centimetre average. Good, that's, that's about right. OK, what do we do now? Well, I think we should warm the students up. Fine, I'll just go and get them running around. No, we, we can't do that. We have to control for other variables. For example, they've already stretched. And of course, we're in a nice warm gym, so that might have made a difference as well. That's right. What do we do? Well, I think we should split the students into a control group who don't exercise and an experimental group who do exercise. And that way we can see whether it's exercise or just other things like being in a warm gym that improve flexibility. Yeah, that's right, we will. OK, I'm getting the hang of this. Excellent. Let's, Let's get go. on. OK, blues only, stand up. Bring your pens and papers too if you can. Now, make sure you remember where it is. OK, now, I need you all over here. Stay with your partner, walk faster. Thanks very much. That's lovely, that. That's a good position. Whew, that was hard work. But we've got the experiment finished. Yeah! Well, there's been an improvement in both groups. The control group increased their stretching by one centimetre. The experimental group, however, that's increased by three centimetres. That's a three-fold increase, three times increase in the experimental group compared to the control group. Well, it certainly shows that exercise really does help stretching. It does. Warming up is really important to protect yourself against injury and to prepare yourself to take part in sport later on. So for sportsmen, warming up is essential? Absolutely essential. And of course, because we've got a control, we know that these results are good. Absolutely. We've got some really good results and we've shown clearly that warming up is important to improve flexibility. <laughs>